It's August the 11th, and this is your Pacific Palisades Real Estate Market Update. I'm James Respondek with Rodeo Realty, and I've sold hundreds of homes to generations of Palisadians. Here is this week's important market activity. There are presently 81 active listings. That's up one from last week. So inventory is still relatively low, and it's still a great time to sell. Just listed in Palisair, 1001. Las Pulgas Road, a mid-century ranch style. Now, this is a great value in my opinion. Listed at $2,395,000, super entry level price. It's a mint condition. Um, like I said, mid-century ranch style. And it's 1,780 square feet on a nice-sized 7364 lot. Now, it's got beautiful yard spaces in the front, which are privatized with a nice hedge from the street, and there are some nice entertaining spaces in the back. The interior is what I like to call mint condition, but very original with a little limited updates. But a great price, expect multiples, maybe going over asking. Just listed in the El Medio Bluffs, a 2003 traditional located at 781 Wildemar Street, listed at 2,949,000, 2260 square feet on a 6,300 square foot lot. It's got four bedrooms, three baths. It's in really very good condition. It's got great yard spaces. In the front, there's a really nice like porch veranda. I love those looks. You, know, you can sit on your rocking chair and smoke your corn cob pipe or whatever. Anyway, um, also in the back is a brick courtyard with a beautiful tree right in the center of it. It has, has a nice feel. Just sold in the Riviera. One. Uh, uh, sorry, 13657 West Sunset, and this property sold for $3,375,000. Now, the house is not the story here because it's very original, mid-century ranch style. It's the lot, 20,000 square foot lot, wow. That comes out at $168 a foot for the lot. Now, of course, it's on Sunset, so you've got to deal with the noise there a little bit. But still, for the Riviera, I like that value. Just sold in Castellamar, 1962, I'm sorry, cancel that, 17501 Tramonto Drive. It's a 1962 contemporary, which was totally redone in 2015. That's list, I'm sorry, just sold for $3,140,000. It's a 2,200 square footer on a 5,600 square foot lot. It's got three beds, three baths, and the house had really clean lines, and it had some views. I kind of liked it. I love Castle Lamar, by the way. Love that area. Just sold on Akron. Now, Akron is a street that connects Bienvenida to the Upper Marquez Knolls, and it's a 1958 Matt Kivlin. You know, he was an architect that actually served, so I kind of like this guy. And this house was completely rebuilt in 2012. It's a three bedroom, four bath. It's sold for $3.7 million. It's got a great setting and kind of a cool vibe. I like the vibe of this property. It has a pool and decks, and it's got a kind of a canyon feel because it sits right there on that water course of Akron there. I did like it because it's a little different, and I like something that's got a little different vibe to it. Just sold in Sunset Mesa, 18457 Clifftop Way. Wow, this was a cool property. Okay, Clifftop up there is, is a cul-de-sac street, and then this was down a private drive setting on its own promontory. Very cool, totally redone. You know, all those are mid-century houses up there, and this one was totally redone, I would say 10, 15 years ago, and it's a you know, like I said, it's a big lot and it has a pool and fabulous views to the mountains and ocean. So now check this out for, for a story. This sold a little over a million dollars over the ask price. So four million four fifty was the ask. The final price was five four seventy five. That just shows you really can't underprice a property provided it's marketed properly. And last but not least. Just sold in the Upper Marquez, 
1136 Donaire Way sold for 4.9 million. Now this was originally built in 1960. It's a Cape Cod, but totally redone in 2008. Really cool East Coast feeling, and it was done by an award-winning architect, Eric Parlee. And it's got, you know, that real East Coast feeling and detailing right down to the 200-year-old fireplace mantle in the family room. The lot in the back is really lush feeling and it does have views from the front. So I like this one, it's a little different and it had great square footage for that price. I hope this information has been helpful to you and if you're looking to find your perfect property, I look at more property than just about anybody in the Palisades. And, uh, or if you're thinking of selling, like I said, the inventory is still low so it's a good time to sell. Call me, I would love to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.